This gentleman, as a case study, he five years ago, he fell doing jujitsu. He's a BJJ artist. Doing jujitsu, he fell onto his shoulder, he rolled, neck got cranked, and then somebody jumped on top of him. So it cranked him even more. Since then, he's had this pain across your upper traps, through here, through here, down between the shoulder blades, like so. He was getting pain into his hands to the point where today he showed me his hands and his hands on the bad side, the muscles were weaker and smaller than the other side, quite remarkable. He also gets pain in his hands at night when he sleeps. He gets arm pain as well. He feels his arm muscles fatigue faster. All medical checks and scans of all types have been done over the last five years. He went hard at assessing everything. He's been seeing his chiro and physio and osteo multiple times every week for months and months and months trying to get this right. Yet, it's not changing when normally it would. Don't know what's going on. Medically, everything's healthy. He then started getting pain into his face like this. He says, my jaw, my neck through here, my goodness, it just started getting so tight and angry. And then it started coming further down. He said, now the glute on the bad side, the glute is now angry, locked and sore, and it's radiating pain into the groin, down the leg. He says, this is getting crazy. His whole one side, one side of his body is dysfunctional and it's been this way for years. It makes no sense. He's been told he's crazy, it's all in your head. Just go do physiotherapies and massages and try to exercise and good luck. Then also, of course, added on top of it, given antidepressants to try and help the pain side of this story. And of course, he realized that depressants were making him not healthier. In fact, it was making him drowsier and so on. And he didn't like that feeling. He got off them. He's just dealing with it. This is constant and chronic four, five out of 10 every day. If he annoys it more by stretching it, massaging it heavily, intensity. He loved getting painful massages, normally deep tissue, but now when he gets it, it's even more painful. He's trying to stretch it. He's trying to exercise regardless of it, but it's really ruining his life. Nerve locks that sit in the traps. That's how it started. Can you believe it? Nerve locks in the traps. It started there. And then I tell all my patients, the longer it hangs around, the longer it gets annoyed because of day-to-day -day stuff, really deep tissue painful, even, you know, he tried trigger balling really, really hard in there, trying to get to the source of the pain. I can't get there. I wish someone would just dig in harder and get there. And yet the pain started increasing its spread. So nerve locks started developing down here through those muscles. They call the longismus muscle groups, right? They sit two layers down below the traps and it started going down. And then the longismus thoracis muscles attached to all the fascial links down here. And then it started affecting the lumbar spine nerves, the sacral nerves. And then of course the glute locks up down here. You develop nerve locks in S1, S2 dimensions, you know, L4, L5 dimensions. It starts getting all angry there. He's trying his best, but when nerve locks lock in, I always say it's a self-defense mechanism. The body, the nervous system is saying, stop. You traumatized me too much at one point and I'm gonna lock it down as a mayday, mayday, and I'm gonna hold it here. The more you try, the more I'm gonna hurt you. So the more you hurt me, the more I'm gonna hurt you. You gotta think of it like that. So therefore, nerve locks, when they are activated, it's really, really frustrating for people. And that's what I'm gently trying to educate to the world now. Nerve locks do exist, and when they do this, this is the outcome. And medically, everything is healthy. So I'll leave that with you, okay. From then on, what do we do in terms of treatments? Obviously, I developed my Bostock needle technique to unlock it all. Reset, 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 reset. Wherever you, else you are in the world, try with manual therapies, more gentle work. That's the key. Remember I said, the harder you go, the more the body will resist. It is a self-defense system that's naturally set in. So try and be gentle with it with manual therapies of any kind. More softer, stretchier myofascial work. Deep tissue, I do not suggest, even though some may benefit for a little bit, but it will feed the nerve locks again. When you're doing trigger balls, foam rolling, all the exercise that I give on my videos, remember keep pain levels low. That's very important. 
And of course, dry needling for trigger points is really handy if you can find a good practitioner. Acupuncture, really handy if you can find a good practitioner. Also, strain counter strain. The source is in the US. Strain counter strain, it is an osteopathic technique that can help as well. But when you exercise, keep intensities at 60-70%, but stretch gently more, massage gently, trigger ball foam roll gently. All the videos I've done on stretching out your thoracic spine, please have a look on the videos below. All the videos I've done for stretching out your chest muscles, your pecs, your lats with deep breathing, please try that. Try also breath work, which I'm a big advocate for. I will do a separate video one day on breath work. That really helps us as well. Any questions, let me know. Until the next video, talk to you soon.